daughter is a wonderful gift from God. When they arrive, they're so soft and sweet, so cute and cuddly. And they look at you like you're the most important person in the world. So, Jodika, I'm truly grateful for the life we lived together. I lived and learned and loved more dearly. I'm grateful to be your dad, and I'm proud of the woman that you've become. I didn't meet Gabriel when I was at my best. I was honestly surprised that he didn't run away from me because I was just too much to deal with. Gabriel listened to everything I wanted to and had to say, and if you know me well, I have a lot to say. <laughs> I discovered what love is and what it means to me. It was different from what I ever thought it would be. I never imagined I'd be able to give so much of myself to someone and that I would look at him every day and think, I inherited a best friend in my relationship and a lifelong partner. I promise to always embrace and support you in your biggest dreams, celebrate your smallest accomplishments, <laughs> be the, the calm you need when, when life gets overwhelming, <laughs> like now. <laughs> <laughs> Follow you anywhere and see the world with you, massage your aches and pains after a long day, teach you Python and endorse your skills on LinkedIn. <laughs> Share my love and adoration for you with the rest of the world. Listen to you and support you. I will always be your number one fan. I will always be there until we're old and weekly. Love is a rugged commitment to be for someone, to be with someone towards helping them reach their full potential. And I want to just remind you to always remember, forget and love as you head out into this exciting new future together. Jubals and Jyotika. Nobody can ever explain the love a mom has for her child. You are the kindest, supportive, always there person. Thank you. So Gabriel, you are an outstanding young man with a kind and generous soul, loving and caring. I know you will honor and cherish Jodika the rest of your lives. May your love be modern enough to survive the changing times and old fashioned enough to last forever. We met for the first time on the 11th of July, 2019. This is uh, a true story. Um, I, the next day I went to work and I told one of my co-workers that I'm going to marry this girl. I 
promise to never call you by your name unless it's absolutely necessary. I will always create new names for you that only we understand, like husband Water. But more than anything, I will never stop loving you, even when we disagree on academic literature. <laughs> I will continue to love you and love you more every day that goes by.